Welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today we will be trying to fix your headliner and your car. As you can see, this one here is starting to sag down really bad. It's just looking like crap. And we're going to show you how to try and fix your headliner for next to nothing with some spare stuff laying around your house, an old bed sheet or something. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is take these screws out for your visors. This is in the center kind of thing. We're going to start taking all the stuff out from the center. Next, we will take out the dome light in the center, and then we'll start ripping off all the plastic on the side to be able to drop the headliner down. So we'll just start taking out some of the screws and stuff for this thing. I'm just going to drop everything in my little center console there so I don't lose anything. One piece down. Yep. Or you could just unplug it. That would work too, I guess. Probably the, the better method to do. I like to tug and pull. I like just to pull out. Pulling out's not always the best way to go. I could still get you in trouble. There's two, three screws there. Or something. We just need to unplug this little guy. Now we'll take off our uh, O shoot handles. Our O shoot handles because if you get ready, the driver's an idiot and looks like he's about to crash, you can O shoot and reach up and grab this handle. The next step is we're going to try and take all of these plastic doodle waddles off to be able is that the correct term oh doodle waddles yeah okay look, look it up plastic doodle waddles okay that's what they're called just wondering yeah that i think it's even in the owner's manual that's plastic doodle waddle now it's a little chilly out today but for future reference, it's better to do this when it's warm outside than when it's cold. The plastic has a higher tendency to snap when it's cold. Are we still rolling? No. Are you lying to me? No. Why does it look like it's still rolling? I don't know. Oh yeah, there's beautiful. Look at that. There's and no. Only one clip is partially broken, and I think I can fix it. It's basically fixed. It's close enough. That's good. No more widow dutters or whatever they're called. I forget the technical term already. To be honest with you. Okay. What you want to try not to do is crack your your plastic like I just did. That's real good. Should've just taken your time. I was taking my time. I was just hurrying. So you were taking your time. I was taking my time. I was just hurrying it, taking my time. So it's not taking your time. Sure it is. I was just trying to hurry when I did it. I don't get it. Wow, cool GoPro. Cool GoPro. Wow, cool GoPro. just fall down and not stay suction. It's cool. Real fucking cool. Don't look on the bright side, Mike. Look. We're filming each other. <laughs> Mike, look on the bright side. Look. It did it in the back of my car and not on the outside driving down the road. That's really good. Now you stay there. Fuck me. Oh ho. Damn it. Now you got two little duder thingies. Damn it. Okay, as you can see, this is the last thing that we gotta take off before we can start pulling the headliner down. Everything the whole way around. 
It's completely taken off. We got this pulled back, all the straps pulled to where we can pull the headliner down. But this last piece here we need to do. We need to get the seat belt. Well, that's your head. Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm concussed again. Can't feel all over again. But we need to take this seat belt, harness, bolt, rod, shaft, whatever it is. <laughs> shaft. <laughs> shaft. As you can see, it's supposed to be pretty tight. I'm halfway through and it's still tight. And we had to use a size 50 Torx to take this out. This is just a regular bolt. Yeah, no, this, this is a, a fairly big, meaty shaft. Meaty shaft. <laughs> Shut up, babies. As you can see, it's, it's a fairly big shaft. We got it down and out of the way. And now we can tend hen you to pull this plastic thingy and... Don't break it. No pressure. That's all the farther we're gonna go because we can get the headliner down now. Okay, well, okay. Just as a little follow-up video, this is the vehicle that we uh, performed the engine bay cleaning on about four weeks ago. And as you can see, he lives on a dirt road, and his engine bay still looks that clean. We did a damn good job. If you did not catch that video, um, make sure you check it out. And to be 100% honest, I'm not completely sure what I'm doing. So we're just kind of winging it. Okay. Hopefully without breaking too much of my shit. So after all this poor man mods, we don't want to buy a new shit that we broke. Uh, I'm pretty tired. Oh, piss. <laughs> shit. Dick out my ass. Stop breaking it. I don't know what that part does, and I'm not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. Get in there nice and deep black. Don't say that. You know that brings back bad memories. Oh, yeah. So now that it's down, how do we get it out? We cut off the roof. You put the two back seats down, take it out the trunk. That's what we do at school. Well, we're not at school. We're at... Your house. <laughs> yeah, but that's probably going to be the best idea. So, we'll listen to Captain Dipshit over there. Well, I, I, I don't get it. It won't kind of like just rotate to the side and come out the front door or something. You can't bend it, it cracks. Crack that plastic and then, you know what I mean? Well, you know what? I don't know. I was gonna say, what? I don't know. How do they get it in? Back from the trunk. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> what did you say? How do you get it back in? <laughs> how does how does Ford get it in? Well, probably when it's brand new. There's no windshield. No. I was say when it's brand windows. new. It's <laughs> Hold your two front seats down, too, Zach. Do you know how to get it out? Well, hot damn. Yours up in the corner, Zach. And mine's down low. Pull yours up into the corner. There you go. That looks like it was engineered to go in through a trunk. Well, hot damn. You know something. Know something. Wow. Wow, now I'm going to show you how we, what all you have to do to fix a sagging headliner is remove it and it won't sag anymore. It's just bare metal. Look at that, no more saggage. Now we're just going to rip off all of this old saggy gray titties. I mean, it's I like know. grandma's underpants or something. Kind of 
I like your ex-girlfriend in her pants too. Ugh. We won't speak about that. Well, ladies and germs, this is going to be the uh, fantastic headliner in the, the car when we're done with it. Gonna be better than the, the gray being all torn down and ripped up. And this is just an old spare bed sheet that we had that we hadn't used in a couple of years. So that cost zero dollars. Fits perfectly for a poor man mom. We'll just lay it out over top of everything. Oh, that looks real nice. See how much we're going to need and then cut off the excess. Oh, yeah. That's going to be my headliner. I need to change my underpants now. Okay, now we're just going to take this uh, spray adhesive and just spray all over everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> All over everything, including friends. Yeah, including co-workers. Now we're going to roll it from the inside out. To make sure it goes on evenly. And we'll roll down the middle and work our way to the outside. To make sure that there's no bubbles in the creases. So now what we're doing is we're just poking holes where holes needed to be poked in order for the visors and the, the dome lights and the O-ship bars and things of that nature to go through. We just poke a hole through like that when it's back up in the car. And we'll put this stuff Good. It's not perfect, but I think it looks perfect. When your headliner's completely falling down and there's not much you can do about it. There's no more old grandma booby sagging bullshit going on in here, and I think it's looking pretty good. We just need to put all the trim back on. The headliner is in. All the trim is in. Oh, crap handles are in. The dome lights in. Visors, everything. And it looks awesome. So what do you have to say about that? Well, I'm very, very pleased with how it turned out. It's a lot better than the old saggy gray boobs that was back here before. Um, all you really have to get is the spray adhesive and if you don't have any extra material like this laying around You can go and buy some from Walmart for two or three bucks Make yourself a, a very cheap headliner dress up the inside of your car Okay, that concludes today's poor man mods stay tuned for the next episode